This is the News Channel 5 Network. I'm Rory Johnston with your latest headlines. Lawmakers demand action as the controversy surrounding Tennessee House Speaker Glenn Cassidy grows. The legislature's Black Caucus spoke today, asking now the Department of Justice to step in and investigate whether Cassidy's office actually tried to frame an activist who had spoken out against him. Earlier this week, they asked the TBI to investigate the same matter. This is just one of many controversies involving Cassidy right now. To read up on all of it, go to our website newschannel5.com. A Dixon County man is charged in the death of his own son. According to police, Billy Clift stabbed his 26 year old son Christopher Clift yesterday at their apartment on McLemore Street. Clift's now being held without bond while the incident is investigated. A string of car burglaries are being investigated right now down in Manchester. The Coffee County Sheriff's Department says that it all happened in the Indian Springs neighborhood in Oakley subdivision early Monday morning. They're looking for this dark colored Toyota Tacoma Three people were inside at the time it, in connection with the crime. Some of the items taken include guns, tools, money, even a chainsaw. TSA agents stopped a loaded gun from getting on a flight out of Nashville International this morning. Officials say they detected the Taurus 9mm handgun in a passenger's carry-on bag. They alerted police who took the bag and the passenger out of the checkpoint area. Guns are allowed on planes, but only in checked baggage, unloaded, and in a proper case. The TSA says you should also let your airline know beforehand if you plan to pack a gun. All right, weekend is here. Bree's got the latest. Yeah, unfortunately, still looks like we're going to have showers and storms around both Saturday and Sunday as we head into this weekend. Overnight tonight, we drop down into the upper 50s with showers and storms becoming more widespread. It is not going to rain sun up to sundown on Saturday, but you will have multiple waves of rain come through. So intermittent rain opportunities throughout the morning, afternoon, evening. The bulk of the rainfall on Mother's Day is expected to fall during the morning and early afternoon hours with skies drying by the evening.